Hey there, I am so excited that you guys are joining me for Coach Basics. Welcome to day one. I'm Crystal Stein and I am an independent beach body coach and I have been for just about a year now. And I wanted to just welcome you and day one, today we are just gonna do a little bit of introduction. So you're gonna get to know a little bit about me and my story, why I am a beach body coach, what I love about it, and then I'll let you know what we're gonna be talking about for the next couple days. So I am excited about this five-day series. It's absolutely free. If you have friends that you think would enjoy receiving this as well, if they've been interested in fitness and they have done Beachbody programs or you just think they'd be interested in hearing more, you can feel free to share this. This isn't something that you need to pay for. I'm going to leave it as a free resource. It'll be on YouTube, so you'll be able to grab it there anytime you want. If you want to rewatch something or you want to forward the video to someone, this is absolutely free for you to share and do with it what you'd like. So, like I said, my name is Crystal Stein, and I have been participating in Beachbody programs since March of this year, 2015. And one of the reasons that it took me a while to get started, because I have always loved fitness. I love Zumba. I've been doing that for several years. I used to have a membership to a gym, at which I would go and pretty much put in headphones and try not to talk to anybody and hang out on like the treadmill or the the bicycle. Um, but I was talking to a few friends earlier this year, and both of them mentioned Shakeology. And I had all the questions. I thought it was a pyramid scheme. I didn't understand why anybody would want to pay so much money for a workout. I thought Shakeology seemed ridiculous. It was really expensive, and I didn't understand that anyone would want to pay that much money. I live in a small town, so the whole, if you go to Starbucks every day, and instead of doing that, you could just drink your Shakeology and it's the same price. Well, that didn't work for me because I don't go to Starbucks every day. I go to Starbucks maybe if I'm lucky once a week. So um, I just, I reached out to these two friends who I trusted. And I think that's the important part. I had been receiving messages on Twitter from just random people. Anytime I would mention something about working out or making a shake, I'd get these ads, right? People pushing product at me. And I thought it was weird. And I didn't want anything to do with it. And so in my head, I had this mental block against Beachbody because I didn't want anything to do with these super pushy salespeople. The thing I didn't realize was that God had put these two women in my life who I built friendships with and I trusted. And I knew that they would have my best interest at heart. And they never once told me that they did anything with Beachbody, that they were coaches, that they sold the product, that they used the product. And I had to reach out to them because they both on the same day posted a picture drinking their shake. Here, see, look, I'm drinking mine today. And I was like, what is this thing? And God just opened up the right door at the right time for me to connect with these women and for them to be generous with their knowledge. And that's what I want this series to be, something where you feel like you can ask me questions, you can email me, and I want to just be as generous as possible with my knowledge about the coaching part of Beachbody and what we do because other people gave me that gift and now it's my turn to um, give that back. So in March of 2015, I said, all right, you know what? I have to go ahead and try this. So I purchased a 21 day fix challenge kit. And I did that because I figured, hey, worst case scenario, I paid the money. I'll cancel the Shakeology and I'll still have the workouts and I can just do it whenever I want and it won't be a big deal. Well, the reason I started in March of this year is because I was very tired of always being on the sidelines with my kiddo. So I have a four-year-old and she and my husband would be running around in the backyard playing and they'd make up games and they'd be doing all these things. And at one point she looked at me and she said, mommy, it's okay if you just sit there. And I realized I didn't want to be the mommy that just sat there. I didn't want to just be there to get drinks or to make sure no one got hurt. I wanted to be part of making the memories as much as they were. I didn't want to just see the memories being made. 
And I realized that my lack of energy had a lot to do with how I was eating and the fact that I love Zumba but I wasn't doing anything more to try to drop some weight or get stronger. And I had to really figure out what my reasons for starting were and have my mind made up that I was going to do this before I went ahead and purchased the program. So in March, I did my very first round of 21 Day Fix and it was hard. And... I didn't love it, um, but I saw results, and that motivated me. So I'm very results-driven, and I figured, you know what, I'm going to give this another shot. And since I never buy into anything without trying it first, so you can trust me that I would never encourage you to do something that I wouldn't also either be willing to try with you for the first time or I've already done. So I didn't want to become a coach right away without trying one of the challenge packs because I wanted to know what that experience was like. I wanted to go through the workouts. I wanted to try Shakeology for myself. I wanted to see what it was all about. And I figured at the end of the 21 days, I would just cancel it if I didn't love it. Well, even though I didn't love the workouts, the workouts worked. The meal plan worked. And for me, it was really learning that God wanted something more for me. He wanted me to be a good steward of this body that he's given me because he's only given me one and he's only given me one life to be able to do the work that he's called me to do. And the work that he did in me over those 21 days wasn't so much physical, although I saw results with that too, with the meal plan, because that was the biggest hurdle for me was eating clean and eating healthy for that long. But while I was doing it, there were things that would come up in the workout that Autumn would say or that I would be thinking about as I was trying to get through, and God was doing such a good work in my heart through it, and then being part of an accountability group with other women who love Jesus and who are doing this with me and who had bad days too, and they had great days, and we could celebrate the great days together, and we could pray through the hard days. That meant so much to me. And God kept reminding me that he doesn't expect us to do anything alone. He's built us for relationship and for community. And so that's what that accountability group was for me. And so at the end of March, when I finished my first round of 21 Day Fix, I talked to my coach, Aaron, and I was like, what is this coaching thing? And can it save me some money on Shakeology? Because I wanted to keep drinking it because my husband and I had spent way too much time in the protein shake aisle at Walmart comparing labels to finally figure out that, yeah, Shakeology actually does have much more in it than just a protein shake. And we wanted to keep trying it, at least for a couple months. And so one of the things that being a coach does is it does save you some money on the product. And so um, I decided, you know what, worst case scenario, I'll sign up as a coach your $40 fee gets waived if you've already purchased a challenge pack, which I have, and it'll save me some money on Shakeology, and if other women join me, great. If not, that's okay too. I didn't want to be a salesperson, and so in April, I started as a coach, and it's been a very interesting journey, but God has really given me this heart to encourage women, and he's been working through that for a very long time with my job and with my blog and with the different things that I do. And so this is just a new door that he opened for me this year. And it was very interesting for me to see it as a gift like that and not as a sales opportunity. I've tried direct sales before. I'm awful at it. I'm really bad. I can't host a party. I can't sell stuff. It's just, it's not in me. It's not how I was created. So for him to be able to say yes to this and for my husband to support it and for it to be a good fit for our family, I was like, God, I don't know what you're doing with this. But hey, you know what? It feels like it's right for right now. And so that's how I got into being a beach body coach. And it's been such a fun experience because the women that God has brought into my life have been absolutely by far the best part. Because for me, it's never about dollars. It's always about hearts. It's about who else can I encourage today? Who else can I help get healthy so they can do the work God wants them to do? And my whole team of coaches is that way. None of us necessarily are in this to be part of the Millionaires Club, although I think if it happened to any of us, we probably wouldn't say no to the check. But for us, it's really 
what other women are out there who are tired of being tired? Who else is tired of always doing the same thing and not seeing any results? Who wants to be able to go on a mission trip but can't because they're not healthy enough? Who wants to serve God in a new and exciting way but they're afraid because their health isn't where it should be or they're not strong enough to do it? Who wants to be more invested in their family and feels like they need to do something different? And that is what we want to be there for. We want to be there for encouragement and accountability And we want to be there to challenge other women to do more than they think they can because it's Christ who gives us strength. It's never about us and what we can do on our own. It's never about if you just set your mind to it. It's always about if you set your mind on Christ, what can you do? And so that's where our team comes from. That's the heart behind our team of coaches and That's why you'll never see me, you'll see me post a lot about Beachbody, but you're never going to see me um, out there knocking on doors and trying to, you know, sales pitch you, you know, Shakeology or a workout program. So that's just a little bit of an intro for you. And so for the rest of this week, here's what you're going to get. We're going to do an email every day. So this is your first one. And Hopefully it gave you a little bit of background into my story, why I got started this year. Tomorrow you're going to learn a little bit about what's required to be a coach, right? So um, for us, a basic definition of coaching as far as Beachbody is concerned and what our team does, it's more like a life coach. So it's if you have a heart for being an encourager to somebody else, you're the right person to join our team as a coach. So we'll talk about more of the logistics tomorrow, about how you sign up, what it costs, what that kind of thing. And then on Wednesday, sorry, I keep looking down because I have cheat sheets here. I have notes. I don't want to forget. So on uh, Wednesday, we're going to address, but I don't want to be a salesperson. Okay, so we're going to talk more in depth about what that looks like to be a beach body coach and how you share in a way that's authentic and transparent and encouraging and inviting without being salesy and pushy. And then on Thursday, um, we'll talk a little bit more about how to join a team and um, just what it means when you join a a Beachbody coach team and then also what Beachbody does to give back because it's a very generous organization and I wanted to share a little bit about that with you. And then finally on day five, I'm going to tackle some of the doubts and all the excuses and reasons in your head right now why you think this wouldn't be right for you. And so we're just going to go through those and I'm going to hopefully be able to prayerfully and kindly um, squish those because I don't think that there's ever a one-size-fits-all for any of this. Your workout journey is going to look totally different from someone else's. Your healthy eating is going to look different based on your body's needs and your family situation and your season of life. Your faith journey is going to look different depending on where you are with God right now. But that doesn't mean that you're disqualified. It just means that you are a beautiful addition in a very unique way to our team that we don't have yet. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. So hopefully you guys will stick with me and hang out. The rest of the videos won't be quite this long. The intro I knew was going to be a little bit longer. But if you have questions for me that you'd like me to answer, you can feel free to email me at crystalstein.me at gmail.com. And I will be happy to answer those personally for you throughout this next five-day series. So if I don't answer something at the end of it that you had a question about, or if you decide that you're interested in joining our team, we would love to have you. So you can email me there too and let me know. So I will see you tomorrow. And uh, hopefully you guys will be ready to put on your thinking caps with me and talk a little bit more about what it means to be a Beachbody coach and how to get signed up. So I'll see you tomorrow.